All right, y'all, check this out. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now it is like really, I'm not gonna say it's crunch time, but it's pretty much the end of the build series. The headlights just came in. This is the one headlight. I believe this is the left side. Let me show y'all this. So this is not like the, the OEM. This is the aftermarket because I didn't want to get the same headlights again, you know, so we're gonna switch it up get the RGB ones just to, you know, upgrade it because I was going to do this anyway in the future. So this is a sponsorship. I'm going to get into the sponsorship a little bit later. Let's just um, get this stuff packaged and stuff like this. I feel like I'm moving fast, but I'm going to try to slow down a little bit. And then, like, that's the right one. This is the left one. So this one has the black housing and, like, the LED strips that goes around the headlight. So this just give you all a better look. So the inside of here, like, the housing is black. If y'all see this ship running around here, this is for the RGB. So this is going to change colors. It's not the Flow Series because uh, the Flow Series is like way too much. And they didn't want to sponsor me for that one. But this company didn't have that one, but another company wanted to sponsor me. So this is like a black initial housing. Uh, these are halogen. So I have a conversion kit that I need to order. Well, it's already ordered. It just needs to come out. I ordered it. I ordered the wrong one. I wasn't paying attention. I was ordering uh, one for LED. I mean, HID. So basically, um, I don't know. We're going to see if we can make it work today. I know the little plug-in piece of work, but the piece for the ball wouldn't work. We're going to see what we can do. If not, I'll just have to come back here when the kit gets in. So if not, it just it is what it is. This is the right side. Basically the same exact thing, nothing different. And this is the car right here, the Moyer SRT. In the last video, we put the new hood on. So the hood is on the car. So the only thing left for us to do is put the new bumper on and headlights. So this is like the last piece to the puzzle. Then the Memorial SRT is going to be back at home. It's not going to be a pack of fun performance on the screen. Our best sponsor to this day. Check him out. If you need anything done, hit them up. Link inside the description. Pack of fun performance. Tell them eBay sent you. He's going to look out for you. You know what I'm saying? Best prices. Everything is good. I'm not saying here collision shop, but... If the price is right, he might put a bumper on, like, he, the money talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for all customization needs, come here, have a punch performance. He does good quality work. Tell him I sent you. So this is my 2020 um, Scat Pack bumper. It has snorkels in here. So we're going to be putting this bumper on today to go into the car. And this is the broken headlight. So this headlight was already pretty much broken when I bought the car. Like it lit up like halfway, but it wasn't the whole way lit up. So the one that really worked broke and the one that didn't really work stayed on the car and it wasn't broke. So this had to be changed. And I was like thinking like these headlights are a thousand dollars OEM. They are HIDs and not like the cheap halogen ones. Spending a thousand dollars was just crazy. If I would have had to, I would have did it. I'm like, there is no point of not upgrading it if I have a chance to upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? So that is what we're going to do. And also last video, we put on the license plate cover. So the car is pretty much coming along still and we haven't missed the beat. Now he's um, unscrewed the headlights to take the passenger side off. And then, yeah, I'm about to try to pop the phone up because I forgot my freaking um, tripod. And then we're going to get this all set up. And hopefully everything is good. I'm sure we can't get the lights light up today, but when we get the adapter piece, everything should be a-okay. All right here, this is the old one. So I told y'all these were the HID. So these have like the boxes right here. But I believe it's another box on the side, this box right here. So um, these are like the expensive lights that Dodge made. And this is like the aftermarket, but these are halogen, you know what I'm saying? So they got the halogen version and like the expensive so those are like a thousand for two these are like i think 250 each so it is definitely a price range so if you guys ever have headlight trouble you got to buy a headlight make sure you buy the headlight for your car if you have white bulbs most likely you have hids if your bulbs are yellow you have hollows uh, this car with no headlights look different as hell like it's it's crazy looking like, it really look like the whole front of the car is missing, even though it's that's how it's supposed to look. It just looks like it's so much damage. But this is like the aftermath of us taking the headlights off. And then, yeah, so no headlights, no front bumper. 
And then like the previous videos, we changed the core support. So I'm gonna put that video on the screen. If you haven't watched that, go back and catch up on the rebuild series. I believe this is video two. And then like the next video should be us taking the car home. And then, you know, after that, back to normal program, driving the car, making content. So if you are new to the channel, you don't know who I am, because I am in the algorithm. I've been getting a lot of subscribers. A lady hit my car. It basically killed the whole front end of my car. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link that video on the screen. So go catch up. So she basically hit my car, had my whole front of my car looking like crazy. I thought it was the end of the world. I thought the car was like total, but thank God no airbags deployed on the car. So everything like that is pretty much fixable. So basically what I did was started a rebuild series, get the car back in order. So yes, this is a true SRT 392, not a scat pack. So we are gonna have snorkels on the car. I'm not knowing if I wanna get light up snorkels or not, but we'll just see about that when the time comes. So y'all kind of knew we were running into this problem with the halogen and the HID. So the kit I ordered should make everything work. But he was telling me that we should be able to go get new headlights. My headlights with the new bulbs. And it should be cool. So to even make sure the headlights even work because they ship out defective items like people in general. We're gonna just plug it up. Now, the bulb itself won't work because the bulb doesn't have the kit to be plugged in. But the regular wire harness that should control the RGB should light up just to make sure we aren't like wasting our time and everything isn't like, um defective or nothing like that a few minutes later already it took a little bit of finessing to get the headlights on but i can't really tell y'all what y'all got to do you know what i'm saying so if y'all want to know how to make this work come to pack punch performance and um come get right you know what i'm saying for all installs on pretty much all mods come to him and um he gonna figure everything out so like i told y'all i am sponsored by the headlight company I'm gonna leave all the information in the link inside the description. They are called VLAN. So VLAN, if you're watching this, I appreciate y'all so much for helping me get the headlights at a nice price, you know what I'm saying, sponsored. I believe I'm gonna have a promo code. I don't know what the promo code is gonna be, but it's gonna be a certain percent off of your order. It's gonna be on the screen, so I gotta reach back out to them and get everything set up on that side. So as far as the kit, y'all gotta do some homework on the kit because I'm trying to get sparse about them. They said we can get sponsored, and then, I don't know. So, y'all gotta figure that out. So basically, if y'all get this kit, and y'all have halogen or LED, get the kit that's gonna make that work. If you have halogen headlights already from factory, it's plug and play, you don't gotta worry about none of that. Both of the headlights and- You got the key? Okay, so he about to grab the key. So now these headlights come with the um, app remote, but we're not gonna get into all that right now because we are trying to get everything figured out. So that might come later on in this video, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to unlock the car and see if anything comes on. So, okay, that part do work. Now let's start the car and see what happens. Cold start. Yellow, yellow, I'm tripping. So I just downloaded the app and I didn't even have to connect my phone. All I did was we plug the lights up and turned on my Bluetooth. It found it by itself, which is kind of crazy. I didn't click it. Like somebody could barely control my headlights if they wanted to. But like I said, y'all know we got the black and purple theme. So I feel like this will be looking crazy with the black and purple coming through the street. So I want to just close this hood, just a tad bit. That look kind of crazy. What you think? Jeez, we might have just killed it because these lights are a thousand, like I said, for the pair. I wasn't spending that much money on OEM. So we upgraded. We got the purple lights. Um, when the kit comes, we can make the, the bulbs itself work. Then that's going to be pretty much it. But look at that. Purple look hard. Let me adjust the setting so it can look dark to show y'all how bright it is. 
That looked crazy. So I'm about to play around with the settings a little bit more just to show y'all show y'all off the different colors. Like it's crazy. I ain't gonna fade. looks with the purple. And I'm gonna go through a few more colors and then uh that's probably pretty much gonna be it for today's part of the video. When we get the conversion kit, I'm gonna come back and uh the car should be damn near done. It will be done at that point. All right, y'all. So we got the light cycling on pretty much every color it can do. We are going to turn the lights all inside the shop just so we can see how bright they are. So, Lottie, when you ready, to flick them off. Sheesh. That's kind of bright, for real. And so we're missing the side markers in the front. We got the side markers in the back. But the last video, my guy, Lottie, put the LED put the lights in so we were just talking uh you can like on so we were just talking about doing something else crazy to the car so the update on that is gonna be maybe in the next few videos hopefully i can get everything figured out by tonight and then we're gonna upgrade some of those you know what I'm saying? we ain't gonna say too much but y'all look at that that look crazy like i said we don't have the conversion kit it's going to be here in a few days and then we're going to come back when the conversion kit comes and we're going to finish out this video putting the bumper and you know i said headlights on correctly so we're going to just lock the car on up turn the headlights out goodbye we'll see it when we come back and until then it'll be a few days for me but for y'all it'll be a few seconds and um, i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all the next day so i can't even say welcome back to a new video but welcome back to the same video now um we were still waiting on the connected pieces for the lights but that's just taking too long so i ended up calling them and they basically told me they was on back order until this thursday and i was waiting for like four days for it to ship out and stuff they didn't tell me that so um we just bought some aftermarket light bulbs so Lottie said these should work or I don't know, but we gonna try to get this to work because I was told I needed the um the wire kit and all that. Maybe I don't, you know what I'm saying? So if we don't, we could put the car together, put the bumper on the car and then hopefully take the car home today. So yeah, it's been a long time coming. And uh, I'm, I'm low key ready for it to come home. I'm not gonna lie, I miss driving my car every day because I haven't really been driving it. Only when I've been coming over here for content. But besides that, it's been here. But we're gonna lock the car, uh, pop the hood, and see what everything looking like. So before we get too deep into the video, now this video is pretty much out of order. So. Um, this video right here was supposed to be the next video y'all was supposed to see, but y'all ended up seeing the POV drive because I was told that it was going to take a long time to ship out the wire and stuff. So I came over here like loudy. We got to do something real quick. So I had just took the car off for a little POV drive. So it is going to be out of order, but hopefully y'all can keep up and make everything make sense. So y'all, the first step is going to be unhooking the headlights. So we're going to be able to get back there to the plug-in piece that's back there to be able to plug them up. I want to just say this. So I've been getting a lot of love from the RGB headlights, like a lot of love. A lot of people been going crazy. I've been getting a lot of DMs. A lot of people been hearting the story. Every time I post the story of like the new headlights, y'all been going crazy. So I'm happy I did something that, that I, I'm happy I took it up a notch and did something everybody like, you know what I'm saying? Cause if y'all wouldn't have liked it, I would have liked it still, but I try to do stuff that y'all like and that I like too, you know what I'm saying? Just to keep y'all around and on the channel, you know? I need some more windshield wiper fluid. That shit is damn near over. So if y'all don't know, this is the light car we got to get plugged in. This part goes to the wire harness. That is already um, been plugged in and fitted. So that's going to plug back up, guaranteed. And yeah, so these are the brand new headlights, and these are the headlights I got by a sponsor. We got Rudolph the Red Nose SRT. Well, let's look at the tire tread. The tire tread on this wheel look pretty good, honestly. Because when I bought the car, it had four tires all around, brand new. And y'all know how Mopar owners is. Legal pit, we burnt the back ones out. 
Then the front ones, they still good too. Like I don't got no wires showing, even though I need a wheel alignment, no wires showing at all. I have been in tune, we did put a license plate cover on the car. So it make the back of the car look way better because that white and blue license plate made it stick out and made it ugly. So y'all basically are pretty much fumbled. Now the kit was telling me it was gonna fit the 9012s. And so I don't know why I bought 9012s. And the headlight company said it only fit 9005. So I don't know what made me buy it anyway, because I just don't know why I did. But yeah, so luckily AutoZone is right there across the street. A few minutes later. So y'all, I hypothetically fumbled. You know what I'm saying? Like hypothetically, you know what's crazy? I knew in my brain it took the 9005s, but some reason why, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I didn't get them. I'm gonna try these right here, and these should plug right up. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> I dropped the ball, folks. Oh, what would I do without pack a punch? You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is, I knew I needed a 9005. That's how I went to go get them that quick. Like, I knew what I needed, but my brain just be malfunctioning and stuff, you know what I'm saying? We gotta hook up the other part, then we should be able to just turn the, the uh, DRLs on and then it should just come all together. Oh my. Want these? I need one, what we need that for? Okay, oh yeah, you, you did, yeah, you did say that. So, you know what time is the hardware store closed? Let me see. So y'all, I needed another headlight bolt because when I crashed, I guess it ripped off and went in, whatever, so. We were missing the headlight bolt. He finna go in his closet, not closet, but his workstation, you know what I'm saying, back there and see if he got a little bolt that can fit in and you know what I'm saying, work, you know what I'm saying. So that bolts do work and the bolts fit. After that, we should be good as green. Like we shouldn't have to worry about nothing else. There we go. Do the last finishing touches, put the front bumper on and, all right, hold on, let's try on the guns. Ah! Oh! Bro! Oh! Oh my God! Bro, if so many people is telling me, like, bro, you need the freaking, the hardware and stuff like that. So, as y'all see, Y'all do not need the HID conversion kit. So basically, that's it. So we're gonna put the front bumper on today and the car is coming home. Oh, look at this, y'all. And I'm excited, sheesh. So they aren't working, you know what I'm saying? Your boy's so ready and happy to have his car back. It's been three weeks, I believe we crashed on December 13th, so it's been coming up close to a month. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm kinda glad. We, I'm not gonna say I'm kinda glad waiting this long, but we was able to stretch out the wreck content. The wreck content got me so much recognition. And I do wanna say I appreciate y'all because today we just hit 8.5K. So thank y'all so much for subscribing. If you aren't subscribed, but you watched the rebuild series or any type of video, go down there like comment and subscribe i'm gonna be in the comments interacting with y'all like i always do you know what i'm saying so if you want to see more stuff on the build series go subscribe man it's free so if y'all do not remember i reached out to a company named uh, zito and um they gave me white led side markers so when the car got hit and knocked out the side markers the whole front bumper so thankfully they sent me brand new white LED one, so I believe that one needs to be fixed, and then the two in the front, and then yeah, so we're gonna put the new side markers in because they gotta go with the bumper. That bumper has fog lights, so we have uh, fog lights back inside the car because the other ones got knocked out, and then yeah. We do got one fog light, but look at it, y'all. It's over with. This one did work, because. It was like still like lit up. So I had to unplug it the day we crashed, but that's a pretty much about it. I'm so ready to get back to regular schedule like programs and like all the crazy videos. And we have not pretty much missed the upload since we crashed the car. So I'm gonna keep that going. 
we gonna push and push and push the content out because we are at a good spot right now. The views has been better than ever, and I want to maintain them type of views because if y'all don't know, I was probably averaging like uh, a thousand or like so, like one point two ish before the car crash. You know what I'm saying? But I had my time to get a spike two three k. But ever since the car crash happened, constantly four, five, six, seven K views per video. So like I said, I just want to appreciate everybody who has been here and leaving comments. Y'all send me positive messages and stuff like that because it's been like, it's been real, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all need anything done cosmetic wise, um, just pretty much anything, come to the guy right here, Pack a Punch Performance. Everything he's gonna have is gonna be on the screen. Y'all can text him at 313-469-3529. Tell me eBay sent you, and you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get some stuff worked out. Now we know we can use these headlights with the ball so we can take off the plastic saran wrap. Sheesh, them boys look good, bro. So the last headlights was like, oh, this hell, like I'm sure it's the same headlights from 2015, but these boys got, these boys got like a nice little gloss to them. Am I tripping or? Yeah, and they already kind of like tinted. No, I don't think it's tinted. Let me set this down and help him with the bumper. All right, y'all, check this out. As y'all see, we're getting ready to put the bumper on the car. We are putting the car inside the air. Y'all see the bumper right here. 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 Y'all see the bumper update we got the bumper on there pretty much good it's holding itself up now we're gonna wire the fog lights up in a second he shouldn't worry about them right now because i don't have fender liners of course because the car accident but those are going to be easy to actually buy and uh easy to hook up for the fog lights so we're gonna worry about that last now like i was telling y'all we do have snorkels now so let me know in the comments do y'all like the snorkels should we do something with the snorkels? Like, should we get the LED ones that like light up white and like go with the turn signal? Let me know what we should do because I don't know. I'm curious. Like, I like the snorkels, but I don't have an SRT, so I kind of wanted to keep the original design on the car, you know. So now that we got snorkels, let me know what we should do with them. We just got the side markers hooked up. And then boom, the side markers are back on their right. Now I was telling y'all this passenger back side, this one went out. So we got this one changed. And uh you just replaced this one, right? No. You did it? That's what I was wondering. Are you sure it's that one? Shit. Yeah. I thought it was no. nah. Fine? Yeah. I you know what? It's crazy. I got a reel that made at the gas station on the passenger side, the back one went out. I mean it's lit up now, so it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the guys said turn this off you don't need that on just like that we don't even need it probably because the hood and the bumper like together so if y'all don't remember i had a gap right here so i guess we put the new hood and the new bumper um it worked out you know what i'm saying so we don't have a gap right here at all that's fire boy it's filthy y'all but the new look at the Memorial SRT. Um, we are gonna put the shikes back on here, maybe within a few weeks. In the next video, I'm probably gonna be off of work. I'm gonna shoot out there and get the wrap. I think we need about eight feet, right? They said about eight feet. Six feet. Boom. So, okay, we're gonna have six feet of the vinyl, and then we're gonna get the little names printed back out 
to go up under the stripes. And then after that, we gonna be good. Like it's pretty much over. The reveal series is over. The car is coming home tonight. Last finishing touches is to put the charger piece right here. And then we can close the hood and it's all over. The car so dirty, like it need a car wash ASAP. I don't know if I'm gonna get the car wash tonight. Most likely I'm gonna just probably wait for the next video, which I'll probably be starting at tomorrow. And then yeah, this boy has been literally sitting. Look at that. Look how dirty that is. She this boy been through hell and back no cap. I'm just glad the car is back. I'm sorry my energy not like where it's usually at. Your boy is tired, like just got off of work. It's been a long day. It is done. It is on the ground. The car is finally complete. Now um now all we gotta do is one secret thing off camera. Y'all ain't gonna know about that. I can't tell y'all everything. Y'all gonna know and see it when y'all see it. And then uh after that. Gone. Check this out. We are pretty much wrapped up a pack of punch performance. Everything he's going to have is going to be the links inside the description. Come to him, get some work done. 313 469 3529 for all vehicular needs. This boy looking tough. What you think, bro? What's the snorkel? Yeah, so uh, just Again, y'all gotta run up the likes. How, how many likes we need on this video for the drive again? Uh, I say 250. Nah, they been doing that. We need 500 likes. 500 likes, he can drive the car again. Honestly, the tires are damn near ball, so you might slide. I don't know. We gotta see how the content go. What? We finna grab some gas. Do an end of video off there. The cold start too. All right, so we're gonna get up out of here and turn the heat off because it's coming out as cold here. Then it's all done for. All right, y'all, so we have made it to the end of the video and also the end of the reveal series. The car is back. Purple lights now. It looked crazy as fuck in person, but it don't look that crazy on video. So you might have to see the car. If you out this summer, we'll be at Woody. You know what I'm saying? All the car meets with the car so i appreciate everybody who helped me my biggest sponsor he helped me through everything and it's just like i feel so grateful to have somebody like that in my corner you know what i'm saying so shout out to pack a punch performance he literally helped me get everything done but i ain't gonna talk your head off i'm gonna see y'all in the next video the car is filthy gotta get the car clean without further ado like comment and subscribe it's your boy ebay shot it i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. Hey, yo, Pluto. Right, so you going brazen. Warrior SRT is on the way. Let that shit ride, ABA. I ain't into capping. Let's keep it real. He could have held us, man, down. He took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties. It's just a thrill. He popped his hands in that dog, itching to do a drill.